My name is Thomas. I currently live in Phoenix. I play pickleball. I'm currently the co-founder of a company called Sapphire Studios. We make ads that converts on TikTok. So basically, we get people to buy things. Um, I've been part of YPO Pack West for two years now. Currently serving on the board as the communication officer. And what I love about our chapter is just the people are so great. It's fun. The opportunity to network, learn from the best in the field, and everyone's just so giving. And we get to go on so many unique retreats such as this one right now. I, I like coming here with no, no expectation, but I've always been blown away by the experience. What I love about PacWest is just the people. Everybody comes from such a unique background. And I like to think that I'm open-minded and I'm just so thankful that I get to learn from everybody and just seeing like what they do for their business, their personal life. Um, they, 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 I feel they empower me to be better. Like I know I'm young and in some cases that's, they look at me like I'm someone's kid, but I never felt that way in our chapter because everyone looked at me as, you know, like, hey, like I belong here and they didn't make me feel out of place or anything like that. My forum, yeah, my forum's been great so far. We just went to Albania for a week because one of our forum mates, Blarum, is from there. And we spent, you know, time there and it was my first time on a forum retreat. And wow, like it was powerful getting the chance to just meet all of my forum mates, but spend so much time with them and really getting to know them on a deep level where, you know, now I feel so connected to them. You know, like I feel like I've known them for years and. I feel if I need to do, if, if I'm doing something big, like they're there to support me and you know, I'm also there to support them as well. And the last thing I will say about form is it's just so great for personal growth. And you know, things I learned about, it's just, you know, sometimes it's like some people have families and I don't have that yet, but hey, like now I'm getting insights from parents and seeing what the true challenges can be. I think before I joined, I was kind of at a weird stage in my life where, you know, I'm an entrepreneur, yes, but I started relatively young, so I didn't know who to go to for the challenges in life. And what I've learned is just, there's just so much more out there and there's just a lot of great ideas. And to get those ideas to light up, you need to meet people who can set that spark and just push you forward. And that's what I feel right now with YPO as a, as a whole. Uh, go all in. Don't just put your toe on the water. Don't be afraid. There's no silly questions. The worst people can say is no, but I've really, like, people don't say no. If you're a YPR, you can reach out to anybody within the network. You can ask for help. You can say, hey, I'm looking to get into this industry. I'm struggling with this. Do you mind hopping on the phone and chatting with me? And most cases, like, those calls have really helped out a lot and they've led to great, you know, connections, referrals that I've never really had before. You know, in business, sometimes you feel people can be salesy. They always want something from you. But in YPO, I, I don't have the experience with anybody. Everyone is just all in. They want to give. And it's a very mutual feeling. I like to tell people I would love to play professional pickleball at some point in my life because you know, it, re it reminds me of entrepreneurship, playing a sport. Everyone's like, oh, why is he playing this? You know, he, he's got a job. But on the pickleball court, it's just no one asks me about what I, what I do for work. And it's a nice break. I get to be part of a growing trend. And as you know, in my business, I, my team makes ads and I'm always on top of trends. So it's that, that's what I would say, pickleball. I believe that people should give back if they can. Life kind of revolves around acts of gratitude, you know, something that you do for someone will eventually benefit you in the long run, but it's also, you know, why we live, I think. I mean, if you help someone that's knocked down, I mean, we've all been in that situation. It just feels fulfilling. It gives true purpose. Yeah, Sapphire Studios, you know, it started right out of college when I had no job. I had to work for my mom at the nail salon, and that's where I got my first glimpse of entrepreneurship even though I didn't like being there, but she taught me so much where I picked up, you know, skills on how to talk to people because I would work at the salon giving people pedicures and, you know, I would hear stories for over an hour on stuff, but, you know, I learned she was able to get good customers through engaging with them. And then Sapphire Studios over time, you know, we're now the largest partner of UGC within TikTok. And the reason why is just, I think, 
our team's just scrappy. We figure out how to get it done and what people care about is conversions and we, we get the results and it's opened up a lot of doors. I'm gonna go with an achievement. So last week, I got second place in my pickleball tournament out of 12 teams. And why that was important, the last tournament I played in, I got 11th out of 12. I got smoked. And for some reason last week in this level I was playing in, we just started winning and it felt different because when you get pounded and lose that bad, it definitely stings. And then it was a weird journey, but fun to make it to the finals and get second place.